Have you ever driven almost 400 meters below the ocean's surface through a 16-mile tunnel deeper than the tallest skyscraper on Earth? No? Well, in less than a decade, you can. Norway is making it happen with the Rongfast Tunnel, the world's longest and deepest undersea road tunnel. No ferries, no delays, just a seamless journey under Norway's iconic fjords. The Rongfast Tunnel is set to revolutionize travel along Norway's rugged west coast. This subsea road tunnel will connect the municipalities of Randeberg and Boken, slashing commute times and linking key cities like Stavanger, Haugesund, and Bergen. Part of the European Route E39, it's a vital artery for trade and tourism. And not only will the Rongfast be the longest subsea road tunnel in the world at 27 kilometers, but it'll also dive a record-breaking 392 meters below sea level. You see, the E39 coastal highway has long connected the country's southern and northern regions, but the journey isn't easy. Winding through islands, fjords, and mountainous terrain, the road is often slow, with ferries and long waits adding hours to the trip. But all of this is about to change thanks to the Rockfast Tunnel. The idea for the Rockfast Tunnel has its roots in the 1970s, when Norway began considering ways to improve the E39 coastal highway, a vital trade route for the country's exports. As the population along the highway grew, so did the need for a faster, more reliable way to travel between cities like Stavanger, Kristiansand, and Trondheim. The idea of building tunnels to bypass the ferry system started to take shape, but it wasn't until the late 2000s that the project began gaining real traction. In 2009, the Norwegian government announced the Ferry Free E39 concept, which aimed to replace the many ferries along the coastal route with tunnels and bridges. The vision was to make the E39 not only faster but more efficient, cutting down travel times and easing congestion on the ferries. This ambitious plan included the Rockfast Tunnel, envisioned as the centerpiece of the project. The goal was clear, create a continuous, uninterrupted road along the coast. But the Rockfast project wasn't just about digging a tunnel, it was a massive undertaking that required rethinking how tunnels are built, especially at such unprecedented depths. So after years of planning and environmental studies, the project officially kicked off in the mid-2010s. And in 2015, the Norwegian Public Roads Administration awarded the first major contracts for the tunnel's construction. By then, it was clear that this was no ordinary tunnel. It would stretch further into the earth than any road tunnel before it. The tunnel would link the city of Randeberg with the island of Kvitsoy in the south and Vesterboken in the north, bypassing several ferry routes along the way. The project was divided into several construction lots, with each lot covering different sections of the tunnel. However, as construction progressed, so did the challenges. And to bring this engineering marvel to life, the project has faced a mountain of obstacles that nearly halted this mega project. This tunnel is no ordinary tunnel. With a depth reaching 392 meters, it's like carving through the Earth's crust. The sheer pressure and environmental conditions at such depths make construction extremely difficult. Workers face the constant threat of water seepage and high water pressure, and they had to be equipped with cutting-edge technology to ensure safety. At these depths, the water from various sources can get into the tunnel. Thankfully, they solve that issue with advanced waterproofing systems and constant monitoring. The geological conditions were unpredictable, and the tunnel had to be carefully drilled through varying rock formations. Some of the rock was incredibly hard, while other parts were softer and more unstable, requiring special techniques to ensure structural integrity. The original project was approved with a budget of $1.68 billion, but as construction began, unforeseen complications meant the cost skyrocketed. In 2019, the project was halted due to predicted cost overruns, and the revised budget climbed to $2.26 billion. That's a 50% increase. This financial uncertainty meant a full review and re-evaluation of the project. And that's not all. In addition to the increased costs, the project was delayed. Originally set to open by 2026, the new expected completion date is now 2033. But delays weren't just a matter of time. They also affected the livelihoods of thousands of workers, contractors, and businesses relying on the completion of this vital highway. The Rockfast Tunnel passes through sensitive marine and coastal environments. Construction had to be carefully planned to minimize disruption to wildlife and ecosystems. This meant meticulous studies, permits, and environmental safeguards at every stage of the project. Norway's weather is notoriously unpredictable. Frequent storms, heavy snow, and freezing temperatures have made working conditions tough. The sheer logistics of transporting materials to remote work sites in harsh weather was another obstacle the teams had to contend with. This project involves moving vast amounts of materials, equipment, and workers to remote locations. With no direct access to many of these sites, ferry transport was often used, leading to delays, long wait times, and unexpected cancellations. The design had to ensure the highest levels of safety, with easy escape routes in case of emergencies. 
This required advanced planning and precise engineering to integrate the ventilation systems and escape tunnels into the tunnel's architecture. But how exactly does one go about designing and building such a tunnel? Well, from the very beginning, the design team knew this would be a one-of-a-kind project. The tunnel has to be able to withstand extreme pressures from the sea, manage the flow of traffic safely, and keep the environment in mind. This is why the tunnel will feature two separate tunnels for traffic, each with a 10.5 meter diameter. These two tunnels are designed to ensure the smooth flow of traffic in both directions and will be linked every 250 meters by emergency escape routes, allowing people to evacuate quickly if needed. This design prioritizes safety, which is a key concern when building at such steps. One of the most critical aspects of the design is the ventilation system. With the tunnel being as deep as 392 meters below sea level, the air quality and temperature regulation inside the tunnel are crucial. To address this, the tunnel will have longitudinal ventilation with large air shafts every few kilometers to ensure that fresh air flows continuously through the tunnel. These ventilation shafts, some reaching up to 60 meters in height, will be a lifeline for both drivers and workers. The construction of the Rockfast Tunnel began in the mid-2010s, and the project has been broken down into several stages. To handle such a complex build, the tunnel was divided into multiple construction lots, each focusing on different sections of the tunnel. This approach helped streamline the process and allowed specialized teams to tackle specific challenges. One of the most challenging parts of the construction process is excavation. The tunnel is being built under the sea, which means dealing with unpredictable rock formations, high water pressures, and the risk of groundwater leaks. To prevent water from seeping into the tunnel, contractors have employed advanced waterproofing and injection techniques, including using specially designed sealants to strengthen the tunnel walls. The tunneling machines being used for the Rockfast project are state-of-the-art as well. These machines can excavate massive amounts of rock while maintaining precision and safety. The project also uses large tunnel boring machines which are responsible for digging through the rock to create the tunnel's pathway. These machines are designed to handle the high pressure and challenging conditions. While tunneling is the primary focus, there's also a great deal of work happening above ground. Contractors are building the necessary infrastructure for the tunnel's entrance and exit points, including roads, bridges, and technical buildings. These will house essential systems like electrical substations, emergency stations, and water pumping stations. The ultimate goal of the Rockfast Tunnel is to create a continuous, uninterrupted route for travelers along the E39 highway. As the construction of the Rockfast Tunnel continues, the project is steadily moving toward completion breaking all kinds of records. However, this isn't just about breaking records. Once completed, this groundbreaking project will deliver a host of benefits, transforming the way people and goods travel along the West Coast. First and foremost, the Rockfast Tunnel will drastically reduce travel time. Currently, the journey between Trondheim and Christiansand along the E39 highway takes around 20 hours, with ferries adding to the delays. The Rockfast Tunnel will cut that time in half bringing the journey down to just 11 hours, saving both time and money for commuters and businesses alike. For truck drivers who transport goods across this rugged coastline, the current system is inefficient and time-consuming. Long waits for ferries, ferry cancellations, and narrow, winding coastal roads make the trip difficult. But with the Rockfast Tunnel, these obstacles will be a thing of the past. Drivers will be able to travel uninterrupted, getting goods to their destinations faster. But it's not just about speed. The tunnel will transform the entire E39 coastal highway route, which serves as a major trade route for Norway. A third of Norway's population lives along this highway, and it's also responsible for 60% of the country's exports. By making the E39 more efficient, the Rockfast Tunnel will help fuel the economy and facilitate the flow of goods, creating a more connected, competitive Norway. And let's not forget the environmental impact. Norway's natural beauty is one of its greatest assets – high mountains, deep fjords, and pristine coastlines. However, maintaining the stunning landscape requires thoughtful planning. The Rockfast Tunnel eliminates the need for multiple ferry routes and bridges, reducing carbon emissions and minimizing the environmental footprint along the coastline. With fewer ferries operating, air pollution from ferry traffic will drop significantly, preserving the delicate ecosystems along the coast. The tunnel also bypasses some of the most challenging and rugged parts of the coastline, including steep mountain roads and areas prone to dangerous weather conditions. This will make travel safer for everyone, especially during winter months when icy roads and stormy seas can make the journey treacherous. By offering a reliable, weatherproof alternative, the Rockfast Tunnel ensures safer, year-round travel. And that's not all. Local businesses will see significant benefits too. With reduced travel times and increased efficiency, companies along the West Coast will have faster access to markets across Norway and Europe. This will strengthen the economy, encourage regional development, and make it easier for businesses to expand.
In addition to all the logistical advantages, the Rockfast Tunnel will also be a symbol of technological innovation. This twin two 27-kilometer-long tunnel will be the longest and deepest underwater road tunnel in the world, showcasing cutting-edge engineering techniques, safety systems, and tunneling technology. So, what do you think? Will the Rockfast become the gold standard for future infrastructure projects? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe for more stories about the world's most incredible engineering feats.